Hey there, guys. You're watching uh, Riot Press Productions. My name is Patrick Thomas Purnell. I'm a comic book illustrator, college instructor, and also uh, the co-creator of a character named Johnny Phantasm and the creator of a character named Ultra Star. How is everyone doing today? Oh, the camera's looking kind of blurry. I wonder if I have something, some, some smudge on there. Let me see. Kind of really shooting from the hips this morning. Um, having a little bit of a dilemma at the house as of right now. It might just be a bad connection, but hopefully you guys can see the the spread, the mask spread. <laughs> I was I, I kind of, like I was really embarrassed today. I was kind of setting this up. Oh well, just real quick. Hold on, let's see who's here. Shadow Hawk is here. Um, I saw George hanging out. The Canook is here. Stoked to see him. Aaron Booth is here. Um, let's see. Alex, what's up? How are you doing, sir? Uh, Eddie Winkler is here. Uh, Eric is here, of course. Um, yeah, stoked to see everyone here and kind of hanging out. Um, Coleman is here. Hail, brother. Uh, so, uh, well, a couple things happened this morning. Well, first, I was kind of like, you, you know, you have those moments when you're just like really stuck in your, your, your nerdism and you kind of forget about the rest of the world. Well, I, I'm like setting this stuff up today and I just, you know, the wife just kind of chuckled at me, you know? I mean, she, here's, here's 40 some year old dude, like literally like playing with his toys. Like I was cleaning them off because I hadn't clean, I haven't dusted these guys off in a while. They, they've been sitting in a case and she's just like, I'm going to work and here you are like fucking around with these things. Um, but, uh, so, so, so that was kind of like the first little chuckle, chuckle thing that happened. But then the, 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 the second thing that happened was, um, 
since I got up this morning, I, I I got up. I like I first of all, I got like twelve hours of sleep last night, which was amazing. I, like no, I'm sure like no one saw me bouncing around online last night because I was in bed all night, catching up on some sleep. Um, but I uh, I got up early and I, I ran some errands and I did some toy hunting. But out the door, I noticed that the, this bird was going crazy outside my the door of my house, and I thought it was just because the cats the cats were out the window. So I thought it was like just like some bird cat beef, you know, and just like then just hamming it out. So I'm like, all right. So I came back and I'm setting up for the show and kind of getting, getting things set up again. And I'm just like, dude, like this bird, there's something going on with this bird. Like, I'm not sure what it, it had like a worm in its mouth. I'm like, what is it? Is it, is it trying to give like my cat, like a worm? So I'm looking around outside. I'm sipping on my coffee and I look down the ground and there's a chick. There's like a chick on the ground, kind of like underneath like this fence thing. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, a chick fell. It was windy last night. Um, so I guess the chick like fell out of the nest and fell down. And the bird was trying to uh, get a worm to this chick. So uh, like what I did was I, I quick e emptied out like one of my Johnny Phantasm uh, comic boxes that I have like all of my comics in there. Went out there uh scooped up the bird it, it it laid a nice nice giant baby bird turd on my hand and i appreciated that um and kind of petted it for a while and, and it, it's weird it's like it really needed some some uh some tlc because i started petting it and it started kind of chirping like kind of like purring and the bird was going nuts because i had this bird but i i put it up i put it in a box and then i was able to um position the box that was sitting on the fence and this is all like an hour and a half before I, I, like an hour and a half ago so the wife looked online uh you know birdhouse at walmart so what i did was i i ran the walmart i i grabbed the birdhouse came back bird still flying around it's kind of jumping into the box it sees that the chick is in there so what i did was i kind of screwed the birdhouse next to the box i kind of like pivoted the box so it kind of like the box like it it it's like the box and the birdhouse are kind of like a little bird condo now. Um, and so now, so now the bird is still flapping around. It's kind of jumping on the box, but, but, but my cats won't, won't leave the window alone. There's nowhere to put my cats because it's like, this is like the main part of my house. So they're all lined up at the window looking at this bird. It's like, they're, they're literally like they're, they're, they're salivating and the bird it like won't get it won't calm down because it's freaked out about the chick and it sees like it's like be sick well i mean at, at, the, at the point there's six cats looking at it and it's just like what the heck is going on so i don't know does anyone have any bird advice out there is like is the bird since i touched it is the bird just like rejected i always hear something like that i have it in, in a makeshift well it's a, it's a legit birdhouse it's made out of pine but I have it in a, a legit uh, uh, um, situation where it's safe. You made a cat aquarium. <laughs> yeah, I did. They're sitting there. I'm trying to get them to move, and they won't move. It's 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 very bizarre. Um, but yeah, so it, like I'm really uh, out of all the Saturday morning shows that I've kind of tried to pull off. This is the one that I am the least prepared for. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I like and once in a while like you're you're gonna hear these birds going nuts behind me uh occasionally so be, if you hear them chirping if we're quiet we could probably hear them chirp nope they're not chirping now but uh so hopefully the, like, the birds are gonna be okay i'm gonna hang out with you guys for a little while and then i might have to go get some type of like bird stuff or like some type of like worm meal stuff i don't know i th th this is not how i how i prepared my like for my saturday okay so eric is saying no the you can't touch baby because you'll get the human smell on him as an old wife said so, okay if you can find the nest so that's the thing like we live in a, a two-story condo so i you know, the nest is probably up high. It was windy last night. So, I mean, I might do some investigating. I mean, I don't want to end up like uh, Clark W. Griswold and go flying off my a ladder uh, off my condo. Maybe I'll talk to you, the condo manager and see if he can uh, help them. But we have a legit nest here. 
Um, and, and a bird is like almost able to fly. Like it can jump. It, it's possible it jumped out of the nest. It just wasn't able. So, you know, I, I think if we had to, like my wife has taken care of lots of farm animals and chicks before. So, I mean, if we have to, we'll just take care of the chick until it can fly. Like, I think it's close again. Like you can hear it kind of squeaking like behind me. Um, let's see. You got some more people in here. Snake Waller, What's up, brother? Bullet Ninja. How are you doing? Um, Johnny Rondo. Awesome. Mind, oh, always a pleasure. Now, if everyone would, just quick, give us a thumbs up. And then also, if you could uh, tweet this out or do whatever you guys do and kind of get that out. And we're going to get some people in here talking about Mask. Um, mask is awesome. I mean, it, like, just, I, I'm going to talk about some, some other things real quick. But just today, on today's show, like, what we're talking about is we're talking about Mask. Um, uh, mask uh well it's uh it's one of the best things in the world <laughs> i mean like I, I think it's undisputed like like one of the best toy lines uh for kids um you know in the 80s it it it, it combined transformers and gi joes um also a little bit of like dino riders action happening in here too with the little figures um but yeah really i mean a really fun line um, and we're going to spend the day talking about mask and some other things, but I want to do some, some house cleaning and address some things real quick. Um, uh, just, just out the gate, uh, very exciting news. Um, we have all the components for the Johnny Phantasm action figure campaign. I have all the packaging here and ready to go now. Uh, how does that look on screen? There we go. Here's, here's the glow in the dark one. And uh, we got the back layout now, looking pretty slick. Um, we finally have all the casings. We have all the all the board backs that we need. Um, we have we have all the figures. Um, we have um, here's the last figure. So. This weekend, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be just putting these figures in uh, their cases and just getting them ready. And uh, But now we also have – we finally have the poker chips as well. I know it's hard to see. I need to kind of put this better in light. The poker chips. We got the translucent dice that everyone gets. Um, and we also have the, 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 foil, the foil gold cards. That have like the bicycle pattern on the back, and then uh, you get the Johnny Phantasm 1985 comic book, and then also, um, which is the last thing that we're waiting on, is you get the Scarlet Heart, um, 14 page, uh, or no, no, 16 page comic book, um, and that's being produced this weekend, and I will have that on Monday and Tuesday, but I I'm going to be start sending out toys. Um, I'm sending out some of these guys on Monday. Um, so if like some people just bought the figures and didn't buy, um, you know, the, the comic book and stuff. So I'm going to start just sending these out to people like that bought the figures. Um, but I will be getting the comic books on, uh, on, uh, Monday or Tuesday. And then we're going to start sending out these, these action figures and the lunch boxes. I should have brought some the, like one of the lunch boxes down, but I, I forgot to, um, but yeah, like we're going to be, uh, fulfilling toys very soon we just fulfilled johnny Phantasm in 1985 um now we're going to be fulfilling the the action figure and then uh we are full steam ahead sorry i'm putting some of these pieces aside so we don't knock them over then th then we're, we're going to be full steam ahead with ultra star campaign which is cooking and i want to talk about that briefly too um before we get started hold on one second there we go just gotta turn my laptop here for a second uh, who else anyone any more people showing up since i've been rambling thanks I, I i see you guys sending this out and i see you guys giving this a thumbs up uh i appreciate it very much um but yeah i wanted to talk about just some quick things uh, that are new with the Ultra Star campaign before we get into this uh, mass discussion, which I'm, I'm looking forward to. Probably a little too much. 
don't have to show sound on this since we already did it. So um, everyone's pretty familiar with the Ultra Star campaign. Um, if you're not, um, Ultra Star uh, is a superhero very similar to Shazam, Captain America, uh, Superman. Um, and in this story, uh, Ultra Star Operation Supernova 5, um, the team that is called Supernova 5 lose their leader, who is Ultra Star. And it's about them trying to cope without him being around. Uh, but also trying to figure out where he is. And everyone in the team has a different reason for wanting to know where he is. Um, they all have not necessarily motives. Well, some of them might be motives, but, you know, some are worried about them. Some need to find him. Um, and it's just about them just dealing with him. And, and, and one of the interesting things is they actually have to hire a a private investigator, a reporter who investigates in doxing superheroes. So um, they actually don't like this guy, but they kind of need him. Um, here we have the uh, awesome cover by Kenneth Rocaford. Oh, and here's a couple things on the side. So here we did add a glass, and we're going to talk more about that in a second, a collector's glass. Um, and let's see. Here we have a, 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 uh, uh, the Japanese uh, cover here to the left. Um, we'll talk more about that in a second. But here you see on the right we have T-shirts now available. Uh, we have hats now available. Um, we have combinations of t-shirts and glasses available as well. Um, hat, shirt combo, or if you want to bust out and get a shirt, glass, and hat combo, that is also here as well. Um, we, we have some new art available uh, as well. Uh, here we have, um, th like this turned out, uh, like this is our t-shirt design, but this is actually going to be used for a cover uh, in the future. I like this so much. I'm going to use this for a cover. So, if you if you get this design right here, you get a, a piece of you get a cover, but you also get a t-shirt design. So that's kind of like a two for one. Um, and uh, does someone? Oh no, it's not down. Is, is it up? Oh, I'm looking for. There's another. Oh yeah, and then this is a really awesome splash page uh, that's in the book of uh, Ultra Star, kind of destroying the leg of a robot. So I thought this was a fun kind of splash page. So I wanted to kind of put that up there and see if anyone was interested in that. Um, <clears throat> if we scroll down, oh, and here's here's a colored version of uh, that Ultra Star taking out that robot. Real fun piece. Um, let's see what else. Oh, so we do have some pictures of some of the new tiers that we added. I'm gonna go over those real quick, and then we will get to talking masks. So this is kind of a new thing. Like I haven't really had much time to talk about this, but this is our our Japanese. Um, Australian, New Zealand, overseas variant cover, uh, colored by uh, Kyle Ritter. Um, but we did it with a Japanese dressing. Now the catch with this is um, there's there, there's a bit of a shipping discount on this book, um, but you don't get any of the extra stuff. You just get the book. Um, but uh, you know one of the complaints that we had were sometimes the books were costing less than the shipping was. So now we kind of kept the shipping down. So this is a pretty good deal for people over in Australia and Japan and so forth that just want to kind of sample what we're doing. And surprisingly enough, like we've had a lot of people in Japan and get down on this. So I appreciate that. Uh, here's a close up of what the shirt looks like. Now, this is actually uh, a nod to a person that I admire very much. His, his name is Eric Jones. He's an illustrator. Went to school with him. Um, we did a couple comic book conventions, but he, he had this, this uh, clothing company that he was jamming on for a little while. It was called She, and he had this cool design that said She with a girl's face. Now, I kind of tweaked his idea a little bit, but this is kind of like a little nod to him. Again, just because I admire the dude. Um, and it, it's hard to tell, but on the bottom left, it actually says uh, after Eric. So I kind of did give him some props on that. But um, I, you know, I'm very excited about this shirt. It's going to be printed on um, American Apparel. Uh, and if anyone has an American Apparel shirt, everyone knows that those sh shirts are super legit. Um, now, we don't have XXXL available um, uh, and listed. Uh, but if you do want a triple XL shirt, uh, just Order a double XL, write me a message, and just be like, hey, can you give me a triple XL? And, uh, and we'll go ahead and do that for you. Um, here we go. Uh, Ultra Level 9, again, is the shirt, the collector's glass, and the hat. And then there's the various different combinations of this. Then here's the two. Uh, here's the shirt with the glass, um, the shirt with the cap. 
Um, I'm I'm stoked on this on this cap. I have uh, one of these same brand caps, and um, I wear it all the time. Um, it's it's considered a trucker hat, but it's really durable. Uh, and I'm I'm actually I'm wearing it right now, and I've been rocking it for about two years. Um, just a shirt, of course. Just a collector's glass, of course. Now everyone knows, um, you know, with the Johnny Phantasm stuff. You know, I, I've been making some collector glasses. Now. We 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 don't have the 1985 glasses in yet, and the reason why is because um, the toy stuff arrived first. Um, the toys, the lunch boxes, and we have a limited amount of space. So as soon as we're done with all the toys, we're going to fulfill the Johnny Phantasm uh, 1985 glasses. But we're also going to be fulfilling the T-shirts and the glasses and the hats for Ultra Star at the same time too. So if you do back any of the shirts or any of the hats or anything like that, you will get it before the book. So we're going to take care of this stuff first. That's a little side note. And again, here's the hat. Uh, and then here is the cover. Someone was lucky enough to pick this up. I didn't look to see who it was, but I, you know, I I know some people were inter uh, interested with this, and I. I, I hope it's going to a good home. If any, if anyone got this, just, just give it, just give us a shout out. <laughs> it does. Fauci has evil sciences written all over. Yeah, what do you? I, I looked at the, the the chat for a second, dude. Do not get me going on Fauci. You know, or like we can't even say that name too much, or like the 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 uh, the channel might get struck. Um, and here is the Ultra Star again shirt design, but this is going to be a cover. I'm going to be making this into a variant cover, maybe a variant cover for MegaCon. Um, again, like we're, we're doing MegaCon this year, and we're going to have some variants for that. Um, we're also going to be having a a campaign, a Indiegogo campaign, going on the same weekend as MegaCon, offering some of the same things that we're going to be uh, um, uh, 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 selling and giving out at MegaCon. So stay tuned to that. And then again, there. It, this is a really fun uh, splash page of Ultra Star just breaking the arm of this mecha robot. Um, so that's that's all good and fun. Uh, and then real quick, uh, real quick, you know, we've seen we we passed the the trading uh, card bonus. So now everyone's going to be getting uh, an extra trading pack. Um, if you if you didn't buy one, you'll be getting one. And if you bought one, now you have one to open and one to keep closed. Um, we passed the $25,000 uh, um, point, which now everyone is going to be getting the Red Spade Poker Chip. I know everyone was very excited about that. And then we'll, at $30,000, we'll be getting a foil card, very similar to the foil cards that are going with the uh, Johnny Phantasm action figure campaign. And then hopefully, you know, we'll get to the point where, where we can do a Kenneth Oka Ford uh, a poster. And then, you know, if, if we really go for it we'll, and, and hit 50 k I'm going to add eight eight more pages to the book and the eight more pages is going to be basically about ultra girl. Um, there's a little bit in the book about ultra girl, but I'm going to have eight pages dedicated just to ultra girl. Um, so, and I, you know, just between like you and I, like I, I think like we're going to be getting to the 50 K because I'm not taking this campaign down until Christmas time until you know that this is supposed to be fulfilling. So I think we're really going to be plugging along and adding more stuff to this. So I think we're going to be getting to the 50 K. Um, again, if, if you got down with ultra star, I appreciate it. If you, if you, if you want to keep supporting us, we have glasses now available. We have awesome shirts available. American peril going to be the best quality. Um, we're going to have even awesome trucker hat. Um, and then, you know, if you just want to grab all that stuff and just really kind of help us out, like, that'd be great. Um, if you haven't backed the book, uh, please consider it good, good old school superhero fun. None of that fabulous X-Men garbage. Like, like this is superheroes and awesome costumes doing what superheroes do best and that saves the day. And also, you know, along the way, we actually do have a little bit of TNA happening as well some white panties. Why not? Um, so yeah, come over here and, uh, check out ultra star if you would and, 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 and back it. We definitely would appreciate that. All right. Stop sharing. And then, uh, we're going to share again, but we're going to talk about some of these GD robots. Uh, actually, these aren't even robots. What am I saying? That's what's cool about them. They're not robots. Let me fix the camera angle slightly. 
All right. So let's see where to, I mean, where to start. I don't, for, first of all, is, is there anyone in the audience that is, uh, will Kenneth's poster be line art or color? Uh, it'll be color. I mean, I, it's up to Ken if, he, if he'd want to do a line art one, that would be cool too. Um, you know, his, his line art is, is, uh, is pretty superb, but I know, you know, specifically on that ultra star, um, the line art, he went the extra mile for that and really, really killed it. Just checking out, just checking out the, uh, the chat. I can't really, uh, uh click on chats right now. I didn't miss any super chats did I? If, if I miss any, any of that stuff, you guys have to remind me because I'm still not good at that. And also, since we're on the subject, if anyone wants to throw some super chats the way to help the channel, that'd be great. StreamYard isn't free, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but okay, so let's talk about some of this stuff. Now, some of these things, like, I don't remember some of these, to be honest. Okay, well, I mean, first off, how did I inquire of these? People are like, how do you, like, what do you, are you nuts? You're, wait, like, what's going on? Like, how, like, why do you have so many, so many, uh, mass figures um now growing up i had the thunderhawk for sure everyone i think probably had this one and i think everyone had the green motorcycle probably am i right it's like i think every every kid oh we had a question about adding an extra glass oh oh um yeah so this time i i didn't put up the the uh the perk to get two glasses because I think last time only one person did it. And, and it, it might have been the one person that was asking. <laughs> um, like, so, so I mean, if, if someone is, is really inclined that they want to get to two glasses, um, I could probably set up uh, an add-on to the glasses. Um, so uh, if, if that's something that uh, people are interested in, Canuck says, I need two glasses. Okay. Well, what I'll do is, and I think I can do this. I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to go into um, Indiegogo after this, and I'm going to see if I can uh, switch it so I can make an add-on to the glasses. It might be too late since I've already uh, um, uploaded the the perk, but if not, I'll make a new perk with two glasses. Just last time, and it, it might have been you, Canuck. <laughs> It, 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 I think you might have been the only one that maybe got two glasses, but yeah, I think only one person got two glasses last time. So I was just like, ah, you know, it, like it's not, like making those tears sometimes is a pain. So when it's like five in the morning, I, I dude, I was up all night the night before uh, putting together all that stuff on that campaign, um, just trying to get it popping uh, and trying to get the shirt looking good, trying to get the hats looking tr good, you know, working on the glass. Um, and just trying to get it presented well. Uh, and then I, you know, I, I, it was, it was crazy. I was up for like almost 24 hours yesterday. Yeah. So, uh, Donald was saying I had the, the, the semi, the orange, uh, which we see right there, the Rhino. Uh, he had the orange truck. I actually got that. It's in the hall. I have more, <laughs> I have more. I just didn't bring them all. The Trans Am and the bike, yeah, you know what I'm saying. There was that bike, and then there was also there was this bike too, which I liked a lot. This was this was uh this is driven by the bad guy. I forget his name, but driven by this dude. I like kind of set him up, like get him rocking on here, and then I like I, I have uh, what's his name Mayhem. The I won't have to I have two mayhems, but here's here's uh one of them. And I usually put him like right in the sidecar. You know, like like when I play with my friends outside in the dirt. <laughs> oh, he's laying in it like a coffin. Shit. Hold on, let me fix his legs. Uh so yeah, I mean I, like when I display him sometimes I display him like this, chilling. You know, he's like, drive me around, fool. Oh shit. All right, so I'm messing things up. Some of this stuff is kind of stiff. 
That's what she said. Something that sucked about them is like they 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 didn't have any hands, so they couldn't grab stuff, you know. But you know, this is this is kind of how I rock them once in a while. I don't know if you guys can see that or not a little bit. Let me move them back. We got some. So I kind of rock them like this in display where this dude's on the bike. And then of course, what what like what happens with this with this guy is you you press his back. And then he shoots off. And then he's kind of like a little like submarine. He goes down and then he gets really like a coffin. And then he, he goes in there. Everyone had this guy too. I think everyone had, had this guy and the motorcycle. Here, we'll put him back. We'll miss him later. Everyone had that guy. And then I think everyone had this guy. You know, this, you know, those, those two, those two were like the super cheapos that everyone had. Um, I'm missing my the stickers and stuff on the the dashboard of this bike. This this bike is actually the my bike that I had when I was a kid. So some of these are actually toys that I had when I was a kid that I just kept because I'm nuts. Um, and then how do we do the bike? I forget. What is it? It's like a button. Oh, is it this thing? Yeah, there we go. And then the blades come out. Totally safe. You know what I'm saying? Just don't stand up. Totally safe. Don't even worry about it. I, I think everyone had that one as a kid. Because, uh, again, it was one of the cheapos. You know, like, if you, you know, may, maybe maybe for your birthday, you got, like, the the uh, the Thunderhawk or, um, I forget the name of this one. What's it? What's the name of the 57 Chevy? Chevy is, that, is anyone out there remember that name? I was unlucky had had the red car. The red car is just like the best one. The trans the Trans Am, the Camaro. Yeah, the Camaro, not a Trans Am. Sorry, I'm just I'm looking at your chat now, just kind of checking up on it. Yeah, like the minivan. I, like, okay, so <clears throat> some of these I had as a kid. No, I had like the. I think the the green helicopter is is the one that I have from from my childhood. Um, I picked up the Raven, uh, which you'll see here because I had the box of it over here as well, and we'll talk about that. And I'll talk about that last. But um, one of the gals or one of the dudes that works with uh, my wife um, had a bunch of these sitting in his mom's garage and they were just kind of like starting to corrode. Even a lot of these tires the, uh, on, on these cars, um, they are, they're, they're, they've like in Florida, especially like when you leave plastic outside, it starts to break down and the, you know, the tires, they start to kind of like uh, seep out their oil their oil starts to come out and it gets real sticky happens to he-man figures a lot too. So, and ghostbusters, but so, so the tires of these cars are like really kind of like gummy and like everything like sticks to them. So I kind of have to kind of constantly be uh, cleaning them off. But my, 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 um, this dude, again, that works with my, uh, wife, um, were, like these were sitting in his, his mom's garage and he just, you know, they were just deteriorating and I, I told him that I would I take him off his hands for him. Now, I am um, I'm trying to clean the camera. So I don't know if it's blurry because of the. I don't know if it's any better or not. No, it still looks pretty blurry. I don't know why. I need a. I, I'm going to be investing in some new cameras here soon, some high def cameras. But, um, I, you know, I, I gave him I gave him a, a little bit of money to kind of take these off his hands, and you know, told him that I would definitely give him a good home. I still have to redo some things. And, and and put some stickers on some things and uh, touch them up. Um, but for the most part, for display pur purposes, I think they look pretty good. Here, let's talk about some of them. Um, now, obviously, I mean, this one was badass right here. I mean, this one, you know, like this one, I feel like the Camaro. And I feel like the semi-truck, you know, that's that's the... That's the trifecta of, of the cars that you need for for Mask. Now, Mask was developed uh, by Kenner. 
Uh, I believe it was like 1987. Let's see what this says in the bottom. Definitely, I mean, 100%, I'd bet my life, Kenner. But I forget what year. So this this car specifically says 88. Yeah, I thought it was like 88 or 87. But yeah, I mean, I was I was super gun ho into mass stuff just because it was it was uh, it was really great because it was like <clears throat> I mean everyone came with a vehicle. Now later on they, they they came out with some characters. They came with some backpack backpacks. I have one right there. Um, but uh, you know they went right for the vehicles. Now if, if you guys didn't know this with with GI Joes and so forth. Um, G.I. Joe only really made money with their vehicles. Like the figures were so cheap, they 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 necessarily didn't make a whole lot of coin off of the figures. Like they they made most of their money uh, off the vehicles. So what Kenner did was they kind of just bypassed, you know, making the figures and then making the vehicles where they just made the vehicle smaller, the figure smaller, and they get to sell more vehicles. It was actually pretty smart. Um, and I mean, and, and it, I think it had a, a pretty strong, like three waves of toys. Uh, but I mean, very iconic, good cartoon. Um, and this toy is just great. I mean, even just as like a model, it's supposed to have a tire on the back. I'm missing the tire. But um, yeah, this, this, this toy is great. And I'm trying to figure out how do I change this thing? There's a button. Is it, do I pull this out? Nope, it's not that. Hold on, let me look at this for a moment. Hold on. Bear with me here. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. So, how we change this guy? Oh, and also, this is the driver, and I will put him in there in a second. But what you do is you just turn it that, and then that pop comes up, and, and then he turns into a little little tank. And then there's a little compartment that he can sit in this thing as well. Throw up some guns, and he's good to go. But, yeah, I mean, I think this one was kind of like... This one's definitely one of those cornerstones. Uh, you know, everyone, everyone needed this one. This one was a good one. I, I've actually seen people do some paint jobs of this one. They're... And and kind of painted it red, like a, just a, a, a regular like roster, and it still looks pretty awesome. Oh, the hurricane! That's right, the hurricane. Thank you, sir. Oh, got a super chat from Aaron Booth. Aaron, he claimed the beautiful cover, and uh. Here's five bucks for streaming the fun. Aaron Booth, you're the man. And definitely, without a, uh, without a doubt, I'm going to be sending you some extras with the cover. Um, just an FYI, guys, for, you know, when, when, when you guys go the extra mile and support us, you know, indie guys, you know, us CG guys, like, more than once, like, we definitely remember it. Um, you know, and Aaron Booth has definitely, like, helped uh, Riot Press and helped me and helped Johnny Phantasm and has helped uh, uh, Ultra Star. So he just picked up the Art T-Bear and cover by myself. Um, we are going to have prints of that for sale uh, at um, uh, 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 Megacon. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get Kyle to sign them too because I think Kyle is gonna be there. But these are gonna be special, special prints. They're gonna be uh, postcard size prints, and they're gonna have gold foil on them. No, no, silver foil on them. So they're gonna be super special prints. I think we're only gonna have 25 to 50 of them, but they're gonna be very, very nice. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, get guys like Aaron Booth and Jason Smoot and you know George and you know like everyone. I mean, everyone does does so much. Like 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 we all keep this going, and I appreciate it very much. Um, if if you're sad about missing out with uh that um with the Art T Bear cover, uh the shirt design, which is going to be a cover. You know, I I I do. You know, like. Like to me, I look at that and I can see that like in a living room, like framed. Um, it's it's not a ho whole lot of jazz hands, but it's a lot of uh, a lot of punch. Um, 
so you know if anyone's looking for a good piece of art at a good piece you know good price because you know i have a feeling if i put that ultra star cover up uh shirt design up at an auction it, it would go for way more um and which i will uh, which i will be doing you know um but uh anyway yeah thanks thanks aaron for, for getting down on that um so yeah the hurricane such a great car and, and you know what? And I, I think because I've had them displayed in their regular modes, um, and I think I'm going to have them displayed kind of in their battle modes uh, for, for a little while just to kind of, you know, rock that look. But here, let's put him. I want to put him in somewhere safe where the cats aren't going to get to him. Let's see. And it's, there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of choices here. Hold on a second. I got to scoot a table closer to me. All right. If the hurricane fell, that would be that would be the pits. Bird is still going nuts outside. I don't know if you guys are hearing it or not. Um, let's go ahead and uh, I mean we're not going to talk about Matt Tracker quite yet, but let's uh, let's just scoot him up forward here. Um, here's a, a couple honorable mentions because I, I don't have their masks. I mean, if you know anything about about masks, like to get their mask, like that's that's the real that's the real deal. That and this is a uh, a mayhem um, figure with lots of cat hair on him, uh, but I don't have his mask. Um, I'm I'm on the look for it, but the mask usually costs more than the figures. But I, I do I do have a collection of quite a few guys. Uh, I forget his name, but he comes with a bike. I have the bike, but the bike is in like lots of little pieces. Um, but I love this guy. I, I like this was one of my favorite ones as a kid. I had all the bikes when I was a kid because again, like the bikes were like the cheap ones, you know. I mean, I think the bikes were probably like five to ten bucks. Um, once you started to get to like the Camaro, it was like probably like fifteen ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine. Actually, there's a price tag on one over here. We'll I'll know, we'll know exactly how much it is. Um, and then of course we talked about the motorcycle guy. And uh, the uh, little submarine part that comes with them. Uh, PTP, do you set, uh, do you do you accept Vimo for auctions? Is that like a is that like a a uh, a, a cryptocurrency or is that like are you are you saying venom <laughs> mega man says i had a ton of masks when i was a very small person i have a ton of masks and i'm a very big person so what the, i don't know what's going on there i need to get my i, I need to get my priorities straight no i mean seriously like all this stuff guys like some of this is my stuff but I don't necessarily go like broke getting this stuff. Like I, I, I sniff out the deals, um, and and some of this vintage stuff. I mean, if you get it brand new in the box, it's obviously like super expensive. But I, you know, I'm a bargain shopper. Like when I go out there, um, and you can be too. You don't have to kind of like go broke getting some of these things. I mean, sometimes like it's nice just having like a little a little trooper or a little dude just like on your desk at work. You know. And it's just like having that little guy at work that just kind of gets you through the day sometimes. Now, I mean, if you're like me, you got a lot of little dudes around you that are help, they're helping you. It's more like they're whipping me, you know, they're like whipping me to work. <laughs> and yeah, I'm trying to get this guy to sit on his bike, make him look right. It looks pretty okay there. But yeah, I think I'm going to have these guys kind of uh, in effect doing some things here. I guess I, I could probably put Mayhem in this car. This car, I, I forget. I, does, anyone, does anyone remember the name of this car? This was the car that was driven by the gal that had the uh, the whip helmet. But I think what I'll do is I'll put Mayhem. Because, I mean, I think him and uh, Mayhem and the, and, the, and the gal were pretty tight. Um, I don't know how about how tight. But uh, I want to... Maybe maybe he's borrowing her car. You know his his helicopter slash jet is uh um in the shop. Which I mean, really like his vehicle was the lamest. It was like, why would you want to go from like a helicopter to like a jet? It's like I feel like it's kind of like a downgrade. You know, 
man, they, they, like they have these seatbelts in here. I'm sorry, I'm not on camera doing this. I'm having these. I'm trying to put them in this uh, this seat here, and I don't know if it's like maybe the size of the helmet, or maybe like the cockpit is made for for girl. Kind of gonna get him in there. Yeah, like his knees keep on bending like an some asshole. Come on, maybe I do it upside down where gravity will help me here. Oh, there we go. I think we got him. Well, we got him good enough. Now it's like the seatbelt. Now it's like underneath his tush, and it's like pushing him up. Anyway. He's cruising. He's too He's too big for the car. That's all right. We'll put him back here for now. But, yeah, I think I'm going to rock some of these guys kind of being uh, some of their vehicles being uh, – oh, microphone. <laughs> I hear my neighbors talking about the bird. Um, all right, so I'm going to talk about this thing. Now, like when I was younger, I don't know if it was because it was like a minivan – but I was completely unaware of this. And when my friend, uh, you know, sold this lot to me, I was like, what is this thing? You know, and I, and I researched it and I was like, oh, I'm like, this is kind of fun. It's like a, like a little like Winnebago type deal. And it's like the springs are kind of broken in it. So I have like a piece of tape <laughs> holding it. But what happens is you, you hit it like this and there's a, a button you hit and then it opens up and then, uh, you can put your little dudes. We'll put this mayhem. No, this was a good guy vehicle, but in here, and then, then there's like a little launch, and then there's like a little spot for a guy to sit there. So that's kind of fun. And then let's see, what is this? I like these, there we go. So these things come out a little bit. So, and then is this was this something? This dashboard. All right. Well, that's kind of fun. And I don't know. Possibly, does this thing like like sling out? It could. But pretty fun for the most part. Did Did anyone out there have this thing? I'm looking at the chat, seeing seeing what everyone's saying. It, th did any of you guys have this thing? What was it called? SDA says yes. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think this might be one of the ones that I might display uh, in action as well. But I think what I'll do is I'll probably put. I have some I have some good good guys with with helmets with no vehicles. Um, let's see. I have this guy. I did have well this guy too. I did have these guys. These guys came with with two different cars. Um, this guy came with like a translucent version of himself that he came in like a, it was like a dragster that would break up into two, and he would have a holo a hologram guy that would drive one. We'll put him in here as a pilot. And then I forget what car this guy went to. Um, oh, this guy went to. This guy went to the. Uh, the Indy car that came with the truck that the Native American dude drove the truck. So, and we'll put him as this guy down here because why not? And there's probably a capsule for that. That might be my pile of extra stuff. But yeah, I, I'm gonna rock this in the display. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, and I'm gonna I'm gonna rock this in my display like this. I'm again. I'm gonna try to put some of these in battle mode just for fun. Because I mean, I've I've had them definitely in the car modes for long enough. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll talk about this guy real quick. So, like as I mentioned before, um, some of them would come with, um, uh, you know, like extra. Uh, well, well, some of them would come with like just backpacks instead of vehicles. Um, now, this character right here, this dude right here, this is the same guy that has the helicopter as a motorcycle. His uh, his his other uniform is the backpack with the helicopter. So totally being typecast here, you know, like he's, he's, he's either he's over it or, or maybe he's just the only one that, that is very good at not getting his head cut off. But, uh, this, this was a fun guy and he comes with two skis 
Um, that's actually a ski at the top right there because he, he comes with these two sticks and he's like, you can either be a skier or you can be a helicopter. I'm missing the other ski, but I, I still like him. He's still pretty cool. All right. And then here's the pickup truck. Oh, here's the pickup truck. We were talking about this. And I'm, I'm missing his helmet. Now, this this guy right here, He's the same guy that that drives the um, the uh, the fifty seven Chevy with the flames, but this is his other vehicle. And also with this vehicle is there's a motorcycle that comes here in the back and something else. And I do have some of that stuff. I'm just missing it right now. Um, so like this guy's almost complete. I need to get his helmet. Um, he has a tire, and then again, there's a motorcycle that comes with this. I forget where it goes. It, it straps somewhere in the back, but it's a motorcycle that comes with this. It's pretty cool. I'll pull the door opens. Yeah, these guys were always a pain to kind of get in. And again, like they're kind of sticky too. Now, what did this turn it? I'm trying to figure out what this what this did exactly. I feel like this is the thing that turns into the boat. Or hold on. Oh, it just, it just has hydraulics and it just, <laughs> has guns and just gets higher. So whatever, maybe something in the back. I forgot the thing in the back was, it was a tire and just something, but all right. So, um, this guy, let's see this guy right here. Like I, I, I don't have his, his mask. His mask is actually really cool, uh, but I, I believe he came with Boulder Mountain, which, which we don't have. Uh, maybe one day we'll get. And then this guy, um, I actually think this guy, uh, he oh, this guy comes with the four-wheeler, um, which I don't have the four-wheeler at this moment as well, but one day, one day we'll get it. Um, and, okay, so let's talk about, uh, well, I mean, we talked about this thing right here. This this goes to the girl that has the whip helmet, uh, and then with this this thing is it? I don't. I'm not sure if I want to mess. I think I had a trouble getting her wings to go back. I'm trying to find the button. Usually they have like one button that you push, and that kind of makes makes the shit happen. Um. Oh, what is it? I'm looking. I'm looking. Hmm, not seen it. It looks like it looks like the it looks like the the pull it maybe pull it. I bet you pull it. Nope. Maybe it's just broke. But I don't know if you can see if there's wings in the bottom. Again, like I've been rocking these guys just in their in their car mode. Uh, but this went to the girl that had the whip helmet. I forget her name, but pretty cool toy. I guess we'll I guess we'll we'll just be keeping that one in car mode, which is fun. Oh, I forgot I had coffee. So, so, so the toy presentation part of this is only half of it, so that's fun. I have some other stuff that I want to talk about. <laughs> hmm. We got Crow here. What's up, brother? Again, any new people rolling up in here, uh, please subscribe to the channel and also, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. And if you can, share this out and let's get some more people in here and talk about some of these toys. Um, all right, let's talk about the Rhino. The Rhino, everyone loved this one. Now, the Rhino came with this dude as the driver, and then he also came with a, an alternate mat tracker. Um, we have just this guy, which is fine. There, he fits in it nice and easy. And then there's always a, a, a trick. 
Yeah, like see how cracked these, these tires are? I don't know if you can tell. But look at this. This tire is just cracked right in half. All the oil has just seeped out of the, the, the rubber. But, I mean, it's still fortunate that that, that, that there's a uh, rubber on here. Oh, maybe it's, this is it. Oh, so this thing, I remember this guy turned into a, it's like a, a computer lab. Oh, shit. Breaking my toys. Oh, okay, I see what it was. It was stairs. I fucked up. It's getting those stress marks scare me. There we go. Those stairs came down. This opened up. The missile launched inside of the base, which is never good. All right, there's that goes in there. And then this thing comes out. I'm trying to figure out. I don't want to break it. Not on camera. Oh, there goes the ladder, but we can get that in a second. What the hell? Well, anyway, this thing comes off, and what's fun about it... I, might have, I should have probably looked at some instructions on how to do this before I... It's been a while... All right, well, we're not going to mess with it because I don't want to break it. But here's the rhino. Oh, wait, let me get through the ladder. The ladder fell off again. Ugh. Yeah, I just don't want to deal with this. Uh... Hmm. I'm still, I'm still listening. I'm, I'm listening at this bird situation happening outside at the same time. Damn it! I really hold on. Let me, let me get a good look. Does anyone know where the release button is for this? Don't break it. I'm not trying, I'm trying to break this thing. I'm trying my best not to break this thing, but I mean, what's a guy to do? You know. I need to get this thing out of here. Hold on, I'm looking, I'm looking. It's usually just like, wait, I think I found it. Nope, well I found something that came out in the front that's, that's exciting. Oh, I found, oh shit. Something else popped off. Maybe it's both these buttons together. Oh, weird. Hold on, something else. Well, anyway, things are happening. You see the bumper, something happened with the bumper, which is fun. I had another piece fall off here. Let's see what this is. Oh, oh what's the other door? <laughs> Get in there, door. Oh, I see the, the seat pops out for some reason. Let me take a jack seat. So. See, yeah, it's an eject seat. That's funny. So that's supposed, that's supposed to be like that. But we're not going to. Why, why is that? Why is the eject seat in the back? All right. This. Oh, here we go. Got it. Sweet. Success. So, here's the base. Humble little abode. And then we have this thing. We'll put this guy in here, driving this thing around. Again, their legs are just, like, not made for this, but... So, this guy gets the... He gets the boogie. Yeah, maybe we'll get a setup like this. We'll get some type of like cool looking display. Here's what we'll do. Come on. 
We're doing this live. We're doing it live. A little Bill O'Reilly reference. All right. Just trying to get this thing present presented well over here. Because I am I think I am gonna put this back in the display a little bit different. Now, of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna save the thunder the thunderhawk for last. But I want to talk about this little gem. This is a little gem right here. Just taking a make. Just taking a second here to see what everyone's up to in the uh, in the chat. All right. So <clears throat> this one, I actually scooped up um, when the wife and I uh, were up at a uh, her her mother's house in um, in Maryland. Um, hey, hey, stop it. Be nice to her. All right. So I actually scooped this up. I, I, I forget. Like, I didn't pay a lot for this this at all. Uh, I think um, maybe like 35 for this with the box. Um, let's see. What was the original price on this? Oh, it doesn't, it's all scratched off. But yeah, uh, I was stoked about this because I love you know these old school boxes, and then also inside, and I'm gonna do a little chat about some of this stuff later on. But uh, came with these these little uh, comic books. I have a couple of these actually, but these are awesome. I love these little comics. I think we're gonna find a way to do these um, with the next Johnny Phantasm run of action figures. We're gonna do little comics like these. We have that, which is awesome. Um, the instructions, cool. And then this part's awesome too. Is it's kind of like a a checklist. Of all the figures. Bit of a checklist of all the all the figures. I guess this is wave one. That's what it looks like to me. And then on the back, there's this super kitschy but fun like little illustration of uh of math, which is which is kind of fun. I mean, it's kind of adolescent, but I mean, it's all there. I mean, all, the, all everything looks good. It looks like it's colored in watercolor. But you know, that's one of the reasons why I like getting uh, I like getting um, the the packaging. I'd like to get this 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 truck right here. This truck right here thing is kind of like one of like a must. Uh, I have the Jeep that turns in the boat. I have a, I mean, I have the jet and the, the helicopter thing, but it's just like, it's so busted up. It doesn't work. Um, but I have most of those things on there. I need to get, um, uh, Boulder mountain too, or whatever it's called. Boulder station, Boulder station, maybe might be Boulder station, but yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I, I like getting the boxes once in a while because they come with that fun stuff. And it was a decent price for, I mean, it was like the box and the car for, uh, and, and look, and the camp was an extra buzzsaw right here, that which is one of the weapons. So, yeah, it was a good deal. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of the cars. Now, this car is fun. Like that. Oh, actually, how did it, oh, here's how you do it. You go, that flips. Oh man, everything's not working out top. No, how do you? Uh... Yeah, those goes in. Those go in. There we go. And that flips. Uh, 
And then these turn into little like machine guns that fire up in the air. Little hovercraft situation. And again, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna rock these in, in display in their alt modes just for fun. You know. Now now I, this this I, another reason why I, I scooped this one up and paid 35 for it because I mean I think there's a leg in there. Come on. You little motherfucker. You little motherfucker. That was the worst thing about the, the mask guys was their legs. Their legs didn't want to cooperate. It's like trying to throw like a paraplegic in, like in a car real quickly. It's like, you can't do it. You got to take your time. Come on. It's like, hey, man, my leg. It's like you can't feel his leg getting stuck, but you know his leg's getting stuck. He can't feel it either, you know? He's just like, why aren't you getting me in? I don't get this. All right, let's see. This would be good enough for now. But what I like about this guy is all his stickers look really good. You can see the stickers on the windows on these doors look really good. And all the decals. So this one was definitely worth getting paying a little a little more for it just because it's so it's ready to go out of the box. And then of course, I mean, you know, the thing that we'll we'll, we'll talk about here at the end. Or not the, the end of the toy stuff. I, I, I still want to talk about some other things about masks. You're like, how much can you talk about masks? And oh man, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how much I can talk about masks all day long. Um, now this is, you know, for it, all the pieces aren't here, but this is, you know, the crown jewel of, of, of the mask collection is the Matt Tracker and Thunderhawk. You know, I think everyone had this or wanted it. Um, it was it was a reasonable price toy, so I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of you guys out there, had it. Get away! But of course, you know this was during the whole the whole fate, the whole craze of the 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 DeLorean with with the with the doors that open up and flying a flying car with like this. So I mean, this 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 fit all the criteria of of what was a really great uh toy at the time you know but such a great toy so i think i'm gonna rock this guy in alt mode as well I, i'm gonna put all the guys in there kind of flying around and doing something cool maybe I'll, maybe i'll post a picture later on the the internet of what the toy case looks like <clears throat> So I, I believe, um, I believe you know, mask ran for maybe definitely one season, uh, possibly two. I don't think three. Um, and then again, like Kenner, you know, th this was Kenner's big hit after Star Wars. After Star Wars, Kenner was kind of floundering. You know, they did the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves toy line, which you know I have a couple things to that, which are, which are just kind of fun, funny. Um, but, uh, you know, Kenner was floundering and then they came up with mask. Now, I don't know what happened after, you know, when, when like towards the end of Kenner and if that was the end of mask around the same time, but Ma mask to my knowledge was always doing pretty good. Um, I, I thought it ended a little prematurely. I'm not sure on that though. But I, I, I just remember it being really hot, and then it was just gone. Now, at this time, I was starting to get into punk rock music and skateboarding, and I was starting to get out of it, but I noticed it just kind of disappeared. And, and, I, and we're going to talk about some stuff about, uh, about that here in a second. Uh, KS says, the Robin Hood toy set, they just reused in the Ewok Village. Yes, that's infamous, you know? But there was a lot of things that they reused, um, you know, uh, uh, what's his name? The the um the the priest Tucker Fry or, or, or Friar Tuck, and uh and um I think that's his name. I'm, I might I might be saying that name wrong, but and and Robin Hood was the same body as the guard from Jabba's palace. But yet, like Kenner did a lot of retooling and um you know reusing old stuff. But it was weird because this this line was like a hit, like uh. 
well, without a doubt, you know, like everyone loved these toys. Um, you were able to get a vehicle with every figure, basically, for the most part, which which is the goal of every kid. And also, um, every person who sells toys, basically, you know, so, you know, sell a kid a, an action figure and a uh, <laughs> and a vehicle. Why not? Trying to get some more cars in here for the last the last shot. Um, but what we're gonna do here in a second is um, I do want to talk about some other things that are mass related uh, and watch a couple of clips and stuff. Um, I just have to re relocate my my situation here in a second. Um, I know I know everyone has, uh, but again. Let's, let's retweet this out and let's get some people in here. Uh, I'm going to relocate my station back to my desk here in a second. I know we already played this, but I'm going to play it again just while we move. Um, sit tight. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back in two seconds. Hey there, guys. Now I'm relocated. You can see where I was just sitting over there a second ago because I had to move some things. What am I sitting on? It's all my, it's my phone. Uh, I, I just want to let everyone know uh, I'm still very worried about this bird situation happening outside. So um, I haven't forgot about it. And I know either have you. <clears throat> all right. Let's see. Where are we at? Just getting situated. Getting situated. Yeah, yeah. So um, Apex Comics is saying, let's 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 do that mini comic with the action figure. I definitely think next time we're gonna do that. Hold on one second, one second. I do want to bring these out one more time and talk about them because I am excited about these. This this, I'm excited that we can actually start getting these in the mail. Uh, you know, there's toys out there, but we were the first ones to do action figures over here. Um, and I'm very proud of that. Uh, and, uh, you know, here we got Johnny and his packaging back looking nice and sweet. 1985 Johnny and his packaging and his little hat in there. So like all his all his his weapons are in his chest already. His necklace is on him, and then his head is right down there in the side. Now we're not positive. We like we might actually these like when we get these little figures, they come in these little plastic bags. Um, we might leave them in their little plastic bags and just shove them in this bubble, just because it, it'd be. I think it'd be better for safe travels. And we want these. Um, the, the, the only thing I'm concerned about is if you look at the handles, like the handles are real delicate. This guy's necklace is, is going sideways, but that's all right. Um, 
Uh, but but the the handles look look delicate, and I don't want it to slam forward and a handle break. So the, these come in little plastic bags. We might leave these in the plastic bags just just for safe travels. Uh, let's see, um, Emperor J. Bama fan. Hold on, let me highlight this. Asks uh, if I have any of the Chuck Norris Karate Commandos. No, I don't. Um, that's something I'd like to get. I'd also like to get some of the uh, old school He-Man, or not He-Man, um, Rambo figures. Those would be great too. Yeah, we got plenty of He-Man stuff. But yeah, I'm stoked on all these. These are looking super great. I'm trying to adjust, adjust them. But here we got all of them. They're all in their packaging. And these are going to start shipping. Uh, they're going to start shipping on Monday. And um, we're going to start this whole fulfillment process. I'm happy how the back came out. Here we got Riot Press, Toy Pizza, Glios, the companies that brought this to you. And uh, just looking super legit. And, you know, we're, we're making more after these. Um, I think I mentioned it before, but we're going to be doing a uh, translucent green Johnny Phantasm. And we're going to be doing a, um, a a radical color version of Johnny where he's kind of going to be like blue, fluorescent pink, uh, fluorescent green. Uh, and then hopefully we're going to be doing a new character as well after that. Um, so we have that to look forward to. Um, also, if you missed out on some of these characters, um, we are actually going to be having an opportunity coming up here shortly where we're, we're going to run a really short weekend campaign during megacon and we're going to have a limited amount of these um these toys available so if you missed out and you want to get some of the toys um they they are going to be available uh, coming up here shortly uh, but this is them and they're here and they're going out so if you if you got them you have a lot to look forward to i think everyone's gonna be very excited and surprised i know when i i sent i sent uh i sent um one to to ethan just to kind of like show him like what like we're up to and i i know he was pretty stoked on them uh, but they're good quality if you like super seven stuff if you like kenner stuff um oh no so you know jeremy hold on i'm trying to oh that's the right one we are going to have uh, an, an opportunity coming up here to, to get these again soon, so don't worry about that. Uh, Jeremy's also saying a Hail Riot, which I appreciate. We went over that super chat that I missed any more. No, okay. Emperor is saying he'll see me at uh, Megacon. I'm stoked. Yeah, we, like we, we, we 100% got our table yet, but we're, like, we're going to be getting it soon. Um. Get that off my shirt. Duh. What is going on? Who's? Hey, get out of there. Uh, so let's see. Some of the things that I wanted to talk about. Uh, well, well, first here, I want I want to share some of this stuff. Um, some of these things that I did art wise. Um. So uh, a couple of years back, I, I, I'm always, you know, a couple of years ago, I was always pitching stuff to people like all the time just for no reason. Uh, but this was me um, pitching an idea to um, – uh, why is that going so slow? That's weird. Hold on. Let me mess with that for a second. I, I, I usually don't show uh, preview stuff in um, – In Photoshop, there we go. Okay, so oh, it's still not showing all of it. That's so that's very strange to me. All right, I usually don't show preview stuff in in um, Photoshop, so it apparently looks like shit, which I was unaware. I usually show it in. No, it's not showing at all. <laughs> we might have to just reopen this in Photoshop. Is that showing up? No. Okay. All right. Well, this is what we're going to do. Technical difficulty. No problem. We're going to stop doing that. And let me just reopen all that stuff in. 
in a painter because the painter is, is a lot easier. So has anyone else out there had a, a more exciting day as far as rescuing animals? Um, let's see. Uh, Apex Comics says something fun. Uh, yeah, if, if you guys want me to just shout out what you're saying, just make sure you highlight me so, so I can see it. Where's the thing that Apex said? Did I miss it already? Uh, he said, awesome. They're very inspiring action figures. Um, after after my Fembat campaign, I will develop her action figure line supporting characters, villain, Hill Ride Press. Yeah, brother. I mean, let's do it. Let's all make some action figures. Let's let's do as much stuff as we can. You know, let's just keep on trucking. Uh, all right. So now I'm in Clip Studio. Let me open up a couple things. Type in mask. See what see what pops up first. Computer's been going real slow recently. Uh, I think that has something to do with. Oh well, this is fun. Yeah, I got a couple things. A couple things I'm gonna bring up. Actually, four. If it, if if I want to be completely honest, four things I'm gonna bring up. Yeah, the computer's going real slow. I don't know. It's because I have like a million different things going on here. So here is a, uh, I'll just share this real quick so I can look at some other things. I was trying to do a, oh, fuck, I left my coffee over there. I was trying to do a uh, kind of like back to the future type of um, mask vibe. And uh, I, like I was always constantly trying to um, pitch different uh uh, IDW or, or stories at IDW. Hold on, I'm grabbing my coffee. I mean, and, and as like an illustrator or as a comic book creator, that's kind of what you're always doing. Like you're always kind of just like pitching things and companies, and not just pitching uh, ideas like this, but you're pitching yourself and, and other uh, other works. Um, and you know. I knew a couple of cats over there at IDW, so I was always pitching them Transformer ideas or uh, or um, mask ideas, obviously. I'm still looking for that. Computer's going so slow. Right, I'm, I apologize. It's, it's working the best it can. There you go. Found something. So this was another fun idea. So I was trying to do. I was trying to do like a a crossover uh, between um, Transformers and uh, and Mask. I was going to do like a situation where uh, an Autobot, I'm not sure which one, Bumblebee or whoever, it got sucked into the um, the mask world. And in the mask world, things were kind of like a little bit uh, uh, upside down. Um, and this was going to be the leader of the, uh, the mask team that this guy got sucked into, which would be, which is obviously um, uh, a version of Optimus Prime um, but with uh, with a dude driving it. So this is the, this was my idea of how they would look on this spectrum. And then let's see, I have another one too. And some of you probably even got this uh in the in, in one of the 1985 packages because I, I like this was this was on one of the postcards um but this was kind of like the a type of robot that jazz would be or that or that prowl would be 
uh, where their doors would be on their back and their wheels would be on their shoulders. Um, so this was this my version of the Thunderhawk, but like as a transformer. Again, trying to mix the idea of transformers and and mass together. Uh, and you know, at, like it's it's crazy. Like when I was when I was pitching these uh, ideas to to IDW, they. Uh, they weren't having it. They were like not interested in it at all. Like they didn't see any money in it. They, they were, they were, it was very surprising. It was like, I, I, like, I think someone would buy this, you know? Um, <laughs> Aaron Booth. Hey, PTP. What are, uh, what are piece is that just over your left shoulder looks like a Johnny phantasm cover, but can't tell. That's a good eye, Aaron. Um, well, I, I think I showed this one off before, uh, but this is we have like we're, like we're gonna have uh, three covers for Johnny Phantasm 1993. There's a main cover. Uh, there's there's a a supporting cover which if you got 1985, uh, there's a picture of me and Art we, like we did it in the back. That's like the bonus cover, and then. Uh, we're gonna have a special, uh, a special um, tier later on that is gonna include a wraparound, and I want to make it a glow in the dark uh, cover. Here, let me sh share meat real quick. Um, but but this is this is the cover that I I have it so far, and I'm gonna like this is gonna be a fully painted cover, but this is kind of my cat just well, <laughs> insists on bothering me right now. Uh, but this is gonna be a double page wrap around. Um, there's there's a there's a there's a Stargate that is in um, Johnny Phantasm 1993, uh, and this dude that's standing in front of it is the one who built it, um, and that's some of Johnny's new finger henchmen approaching him, and then we have a group of heroes uh, looking through the Stargate. Uh, so, so this is going to be one of the covers. We're going to have three covers for Johnny Phantasm 1993, um, and this is going to be available either in the second 30 or maybe the the 30 the, the 60 day mark. This might be a 24 hour cover too. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, this is this is uh, this is um, I'm, I'm stoked to do this one. This one's going to be good. Good eye, Aaron. He's he's always on the look for some artwork. Um, all right, so back to what, what we're showing. Let's see. No, I wanted to add the stream. There we go. Okay. So, again, this was the Thunderhawk kind of laid out um, in the, uh, like, a, a, a uh, like, same type of engineering as, like, um, one of the Dotsons. And, and Transformers, you know, like uh, uh, Smokescreen or Blue Streak or Prowl. Um, I kind of use the engineering, same type of engineering that they're made. I kind of use the structure of this guy. But, like, I, you know, I, I, I pitched this idea to IDW, um, and they're like, oh, we're, we're, we're not really doing anything with, with Mask anymore. There's no money in it. And I'm just like, dude, like, I even told them, because – this was after I did. I was still talking to IDW for 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 quite a while, but I I uh, I told them I was like, uh, just give me the opportunity. Like I, I will crowdfund this. Like this will happen. Like I will totally get this happen. And I was so confident. Like at you know uh, like at the time, I was like I will even uh, crowdfund a new um, uh, Thunderhawk. And, and we'll get we'll get it we'll, we'll get a new toy line going because mass has died off you know mass just kind of went away you know one day mask was there and then i think everyone turned around and mask was gone or was it that's the question and we'll i'm gonna talk about that next what happened to mass where did mass go and we're gonna talk about that in one second so uh around the end of mask Kenner was sold to uh, was sold to um, Hasbro, which is a shame because it's like the same thing with Disney buying up everything. It's like once a company starts to lose all their 
uh, competition, uh, they, they, they start to kind of flounder a little bit. Now, you know, since the rise of so many kind of smaller toy companies, some of the other toy companies are starting to, hot, uh, you know, with third-party companies killing it, you know, NECA is killing it now. Um, Super 7 is doing a great job. Um, but, you know, I, I still think there's a market for this stuff. Um, let me share something with you here that I think you might find interesting. Uh, all right, we'll, just, we'll go that way. We'll do it this way. Uh, share screen, application window. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my screen now, but Vortec, this is what this is what uh, um, this is what uh, uh, Hasbro turned Mask into. So Kenner made Mask. Mask was a really good success, especially since after their uh, their um, Star Wars campaigns, you know, which which kind of ended. Now, I came back for Episode One, Two, and Three, yeah, but for the most part. Um, you know, after Star Wars ended, they needed to do something else, and they came up with with uh, uh, masks, which everyone loved. Then, then towards the late '80s, early '90s, they sold um, Kenner to Hasbro, um, and then Hasbro turned Mask into Vortec, which this is right here. Um, I, I was even kind of unaware of this, but. Uh, here, here is one of their more popular. Let's see if it um, pixelates. It's not. It's going to be pixelated. That's pixelated too. What the f? Uh, let's see. Try to find. Well, here. I mean, this is this is a good. Is this for? This looks like this is for Toy Galaxy, maybe. But Vortec is the uh, forgotten mask uh, sequel. It wasn't a ripoff. It was it was a sequel because it was it was basically. I mean, like there was actually even some of the same tooling. Um, here here we have one of the vehicles that that has the vehicle that has the boat that shoots out from underneath it. So 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 some of the same engineering and tooling was actually used. Like look right here. Here we have. Uh, Hold on one second. I have a cat that needs water. Hold on one second. All right. So... Here, I mean, here we can see some of the same engineering used uh, to 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 make a, a very similar toy. Now, this happens in Transformers as well. Like, there'll be like one type of single type of engineering. Like again, like the engineering that's used for for Prowl, Smokescreen, um, Blue Streak, some of those Transformers. Those are the same type of uh, tooling that's used for a, 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 you know um, a lot of other uh, robots. Here's here's what some of the guys look like. They are more buff looking than mask. This this engineering was also used in mask. So pretty interesting. Um, oh, here we go. Here's a famous one. I mean, look at this one. This, I mean, not a famous truck, but the but the tooling. I mean, like y you have to recognize that is the same type of tooling that's used for the for for that one um, SUV that did the blasting. Um, but yeah, so it, you know, this is this is Vortec. Now, something that's interesting that I did is I I did some investigating. Oh, you missed some phone calls. <laughs> the wife is said, how'd the bird hut, uh, house hunt go? I found a bird house pretty easily. Now getting the bird to use it, that's a, that's a whole other thing right there. Um, 
All right. Uh, okay, so here's another picture of, of that of the of the boat launching off the truck again. Very similar engineering. Uh, so you know when I when I figured this out, uh, I think I think I, I think I heard it mentioned on Toy Galaxy. Um, you know, I instantly did some researching in, into you know how much these things cost, and apparently these things are pretty costly. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, look at this little job right here. I mean, this is just like a little four wheeler, uh, still in the packaging. What's the original price? KB Toy Store. This was marked down to two ninety nine, and now we're looking at one hundred fifty bucks to to scoop this thing up. Um, it's got sixteen watchers, you know, uh, but that's a good looking toy right there. But 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 something that's interesting with all this is oh here's the car is um i did some research and and it looks to me that the that 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 the copyright is actually up the trademark is actually available for this property which i find interesting um so i might and Riot Press might look into uh, seeing how much it would it would cost to scoop up this property. Again, uh, you know, scoop up Vortec and basically just do mask. You know what I'm saying? Like, like just redo mask. Um, we can do the same thing that we did with Johnny, where we can start with one one toy and then go from there. I mean, you know, just for, for the sake of being a classic, I would do a red car or I would do a, a type of a helicopter. But I mean, for the, you know, for the most part, is that die cut? That's a die cut box. That's pretty cool. That's a good looking box right there. But I mean, it's such a cool idea, you know? Uh, and, and, and again, you know, well, this was the day when, when before Black Series and those type of uh, things were around. Um, when, when the action figures were actually pretty cheap. Here, you know, you're you're being forced to buy a vehicle, and vehicles are much more expensive. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I mean, looking looking pretty sharp. What is this thing over here? What is this? This looks very similar too. Oh man, I don't know what this is. So it, is this a mask thing or is this like Shadow Strikers? Hmm. I have to do a screenshot of this. Because we're gonna have to come back to this. <laughs> I, I I don't know what Shadow Strikers is. This looks like it's uh it's it's this is a mask mold right here. And mask did have a line where they had like a holographic character that would separate. Uh, but this is very interesting. How much is this thing for? 75 bucks. I know you're gonna you're gonna hate me saying this, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm okay with that. What year does that say? 1990. So I, I yeah. So I, I have to do some history. I have to find out if this is something that that came after. Uh, here's another one. This is only ten bucks. Huh. Yeah, I'm to, that's that's kind of cool because I, I like getting stuff like this. This this seems like something that I get. Actually, this this is more my speed. This thing right here. Uh, I I like that it comes with the box and this this looks like that would look like totally sweet like in the case right there. Hmm. I might be I might be getting this as soon as we get offline. We're gonna come back to this. We're coming back to you. We're coming back to you. That's for sure. But yeah, yeah, Vortex. So I'm going to do some investigating in, in Vortex and, and see if, I mean, sometimes like some of these things are a lot cheaper than you think. I mean, it's not like someone at Hasbro is dying to do Vortex, you know? 
Uh, so it might be something to look into and it might be a fun thing just to do, because again, if I was, if I was to do a, a Vortec, uh, thing, I would just, it would just be mask. I would just kind of remake mask. I, I would, I would, I would even, um, I would even, do we have any of the, I would even make the logo look more like mask. I mean, here they kind of did it. I mean, I think it looks dumb with the face in it, but you know, I would even, even kind of redesign it, but yeah, it might be some fun to look into. Again, there's that mold. We've seen this mold a couple times, and oh, that, well, that is a mask. So yeah, definitely, that's the same thing we saw at Vortex just a second ago. But uh, so yeah. Anyways, anyways, I guess that's gonna be it. The the, the cat's looking pretty anxious back there. He's gonna knock over the lamp in a second. Um, but I guess I should kind of put some, put some of these, these toys away, but, uh, I, I thank, uh, everyone again for, for hanging out just real quick before we go, don't go anywhere. Um, I just want to remind, uh, everyone, if you would just run over to, um, the, uh, the ultra star website. And again, we've got some new stuff up there. Um, we've got some. Uh, we've got some shirts available now over there uh, on on Indiegogo. Let me see. We've got some shirts available, uh, available small to uh, double XL. And if you need triple XL, just order a double XL and then just write me a message that says, "Hey, I ordered a double, but I need a triple, and we can take care of that, no problem." Um, again, like we have these collector glasses. Uh, with every book with 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 Riot Press, we're going to be doing a collector's glass. So if you're into a thing where you're, where you're collecting these, uh, we're, we're making these glasses too. Um, we haven't shipped the 1985 glass yet because that was for the toy campaign. Um, the toy just kind of beat the glasses here. So now we're going to take care of the toys and get rid of all the toys. Once we're done with the toys, we're going to do the 1985 glasses, but we're going to do the Ultra Star glasses and the Ultra Star shirts and hats at the same time. So you are going to be getting your Ultra Star um, apparel and stuff like that before the book. Like we're we're going to take care of that stuff uh, first. So if you're anxious on getting something Ultra Star sooner than later, um, you know, getting a glass or a hat or a shirt will will uh, ensure that. Um, also uh, available on the campaign now is um, my cover is available in, in Ultra Level 3. You get my cover and Kenneth's cover. And then also there is a Japanese variant that's available for people overseas that has a reduced shipping cost. You don't get any of the added extras but uh, it, for, for, for a lighter freight, but you'll get the book for a much cheaper cost. Um, this is also available for people uh, in the U.S. as well. Now, if you got Ultra Level 3 with my cover and you want the Japanese cover, we can't do that. There, I, I can't switch that in, in, uh, in Indiegogo. So uh, if, you, if you want the Japanese cover, you're going to have to go ahead and order it separately. Uh, but a, again, um, everyone, uh, I want to thank everyone for, for coming in and, and hanging out and um, uh, just enjoying our, our, our Saturday here and, and listening to me talk about toys. Thanks everyone for the super chats and all that stuff um if you're watching this now uh or if you're watching this later i appreciate you um everyone have a good day and i'll see i'll see you guys later